they're over there trying to put Trey's outfit together. To wear. Well, just wear anything. Michael. Wear a tablecloth. There's a mystery to be solved. The great mass detective should come to it. <laughs> you should start wearing that out like Michael, as like Loretta Hogg. Where's Loretta Hogg? I'm gonna wear a Thursday to go for it. What? My great mouse detective outfit. <laughs> now, Albert, don't mess up the line of that bathing suit with all those ribbons and things. No, it's gonna be very simple and understated. That bathing suit is very simple and understated. I like it like that. Let's just leave the. So we put too much more than. Have too much clothes. You don't want to cover up his chest anyway, Albert. I like that though. Do you it would like be that? like putting a fig leaf on Michelangelo's David. Um, I want to do some creative <clears throat> strapping. I'll be all caught up in the works. So anyway, Michael, I just don't know. I'm going to take Albert down to South Carolina and to Georgia, and we'll go thrift store shopping for about 12 days. And I guess he'll borrow money or something. He won't. He'll spend all his money and want to borrow some. Spend all my money. I'm not even taking any money. I don't even have any money. I don't even have any money to take. That's why I'm borrowing some money. Michael, give me some coins. Oh, uh, Michael. Michael. They had to identify Christina's body from the dental records. Because uh, it had been five days. Her parents went through a bureaucratic hell for a week. How did they identify and her tongue was on her upper lip? No, and, um, and uh, they had her cremated. Moisture whip. So it's really gruesome. I'm learning more and more about it, though. Did you I'll fill pictures? you in. What? Did you get any photographs of the decomposed corpse? No. Now wait, how could the corpse decompose so fast in five days? That you Albert, can't... Albert, you really go fast. And this heat and everything? Not that fast, but then getting to was pretty ill. It's sickness right through her body. She was already halfway there. Real? That's what I mean. She wasn't healthy. Oh, she was. Oh, I mean, I'm sure a healthy body does not decompose in five days. She was a, a pharmacist. They're probably maggots. Yes, in a Chinese body bag. <laughs> she wound herself up. So, Michael, do you like George Wayne's new magazine, Rome? Not this one. No, why? Not You're not in it? It is ass. I'm not in it. Oh, and he kisses all the right asses. Uh -huh. He didn't kiss my ass. Huh. Well, maybe next month. He said, Nelson, give me some of that joint. And I said, well, where's my mention? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> trying to corrupt me like that. <laughs> Nelson turn around like Eunice on the Carol Burnett show. Well, where's my mention? Mama. <laughs> Nelson. What? Whose magazine is that? I don't put up with corrupt journalists. Oh, please. Whose magazine is George Wayne's magazine? I never knew who he was till all of a sudden. Oh, I did. He used to come to the Celebrity Club. I never knew who he was either until like a couple months ago. Well, Mike, I have to go now. I have to go get ready. They're just wandering around babbling to themselves, Michael. I really have to get off the phone now. Well, we'll see you there. Well, I guess I'll, you're coming over? I'll just see you at the underground. In about an hour? Is it only 10.30 now? It's 10.37. Oh, my God. Well, I'll see you in about an hour. Bye. 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 So I guess we'll see Michael over there at the underground. Nelson? Come over in the light. It's Albert Crudeau. Finally dressed again. This is the first time I've dressed up in so long. I hope it's worth it. I, I'm sure it will be, Larry T. something like
like this. Yeah, you and Jim should do a magazine well, and read you? every single person to filth, no matter who they are. <laughs> thank Why you don't just, you? That, thank you for just repeating what I said. In fact, I'm gonna let me call him right now. Well, Albert's going to tie up my line. I know. I just want to tell my his evil friend on. Jim. I want to just tell him I want to start working on it. Oh, I don't know who you learned this kind of uh, insidious behavior from, you and Jim. I don't know where you got the idea that people really uh, want evil, evil, is, corrupt um, journalists. Jimmy. Thanks. Oh, and, and and our first interview will be Michael Musto. I can't Hi. believe this. I don't exactly. think Albert even knows who Clifton Webb is. Oh, you were such a pig. Listen, that, magazine, that evil hate magazine we were going to do. But do it like... Rome? No, he kisses everybody's ass. We should just dish everybody, like, but not horribly. Just like tell them what's really going on. And like make no pretense about it and don't care who he is upset. I, cause, cause all I'll have to start a, a magazine to like defend just, everybody yeah, from everybody else. So we... It's a state. Definitely, definitely, come on. You want to? Seriously? When I get back from Atlanta, let's start. This will be our spring project. And I'll give Marcus Salvi to um, advertise. And...